welcome to Studio 8A in Oaks Park. I'm Jackie Smith and um, thanks for coming and joining me today to do a short tour of my studio. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few of my works here. Um, I've been in the studio for about a year um, and my work is um, inspired a lot by nature and particularly the coastline. Um, so at the moment I've been working on a project to do with the Dorset coast um, and very interested in um, the shape of the coast and how it's changing over time. Um, I also like to work particularly sort of with the environment. So um, in this project I've been using um, pigment from rockfall um, under, under cliffs that I found on beaches. So you can see here some, um, some pigment paints that I've been making from um, various cliffs in Burton Bradstock, Kimridge Bay. Uh, and so on, and I've been using those then on these uh, on paper and on these large canvases here as well. But another important part of my practice is printmaking, um, and I'm going to show you a short demo um, um, in a while um, of uh, lino reduction printmaking. And here in the wall are some examples of the work that I've been doing uh, that I've done in the past. So there's a variety of techniques here from um, woodcut to um, and lino cut, relief printing to um, some etching, which I used to do a bit more of in the past. I'm just going to give a quick outline of how you um, put together a lino print using the reduction method. Um, that's taking one piece of lino, a block like this, and printing multiple colours from it on top of each other. And this is the design that I'm starting with. And basically using one block of lino and cutting different parts of the lino block out each time, I'm printing all of these layers. So starting with the blue, then layering on top the green, the brown and the grey and now when I get to this part if you go back to the original sketch I've got one more layer to do which is going to be the darkest dark sort of a dark grey darkest grey um, and I'm now going to cut that and print the final layer cut on I've drawn on here the areas that I'm going to cut away and I'm just going to um, to cut these out now. ink it up and print the final layer. So there's the finished block ready to print. And this has to go down in exactly the same place each time to ensure that the print overlays in the correct place. So I use a registration block to do that. So this piece of card that put, keeps the block in exactly the same place each time. And the paper has got a mark on it and it goes down in exactly the same place each time as well. Just 
using a really small kind of craft press here. 